My name's Marie White and I work at Stanford House and I've been working here for five years as a registered nurse. The title of this project is Our Tangata Whairoa and Improving Their Physical Health. The project's about uh, developing the emphasis around metabolic monitoring and how to improve it. The purpose of the project is to include clients in a program with co-design and this includes our staff and clients working collectively together and learning how to work effectively with programs and education and this is to be part of their recovery journey and moving on in the future. Having hope. The problems that we wanted to solve at Stanford House included the increasing weight and obesity of clients. Now this is generic to uh, mental health for some patients and we actually looked at our clients and what best methods to reduce their weight. My name is Peter Daru, I'm the Clinical Nurse Manager here at Stanford House in Whanganui. So we're situated um, on the hospital site, we are a 15 bed unit. Right at the beginning of releasing time to care when we uh, sat down with the clients and staff and we asked them what did they think of Stamford House? What did they think that we do? Because that's what our vision statement needed to reflect. We had three meetings. The one that we ended up with, which was a safe place, we live, learn and grow in the wider community. Jo is a Maori and Samoan client at Stamford House. And for this case study, he's actually willingly come aboard as a role model. And he's been participating in the weight competition and the diabetes foot checks for over two years now and he's had significant change. The PDSA cycle is actually a tool and the cycle in itself is plan, do, study and act. The PDSA cycle was used to implement and change programs and this is something I used as a quality initiative and I linked it into two areas that I thought required considerable change. Joe has weight reduction of a significant amount over the last two years. And being as a case manager, I've actually included him in Genogram, meeting with his family, talking about his whole life and his family life and how we can best effectively work with him within the complex of this unit. He's actually more motivated, more interested in activities. He's walking, he now leaves the unit. Before he, when he arrived in this unit three years ago, he actually didn't want to leave the unit. He now is able to walk more than seven laps of the courtyard. That was his first stage. Now he's walking out in the community for 30 minutes a day and effectively interested in swimming at the splash centre, uh, moving around, doing programs of his choice. And that can include singing, photography group, uh, education, Māori learning in the language. So he's actually participating in a wide range of aspects of education and cooking and learning about his diet, which includes uh, cooking his own meals now. And these are all part of his learning and improving his health and taking responsibility for his daily care. The foot checks for clients, just like Joe, is because he's high risk. And concerns are these must be monitored. And he's just one of a unit of 15 clients. And we actually check every single client and become part of that assessment on a three monthly check. And then we can bring in the podiatrist. The things that went well from the PDSA change. The key issues were our, our quality improvements. The weight reduction happened, the weight competition was successful, it's become annual. The diabetes foot check, we brought about photography, which wasn't used ever before, and this is actually showing change from those feet, from a baseline taken to a change. And if they were issues, we can address them straight away. The only things I can say about going wrong would, there were an odd occasion where a client would gain some weight slightly because they might be on unescorted leave. They go off on their bike to town and have their time, which they were allocated, and they'd come back after eating unhealthy foods, and they'd come back. They'd realise they'd made their mistakes, and they'd learn to fix it because it shows in due course on their weight graphs that they've been doing things wrong. Education comes in, and they become more aware that it isn't working for them, so they have to change their own behaviours. The things that brought about change, and it brought about the ACT side, I want it to continue because I believe it works. And I can see the results, not just in the clients, how they look physically, the lost weight, they're actually checking their feet. I can see results in graphs and trends and changes, and they're all in the positive direction. We can record that and share it within our quality team meetings. The client representatives attend them, they can tell us how they feel, and they can see benefits in what we do. In this unit, it's about change, it's about recovery journeys, and it's about success and hope. We've, I think, delivered that within our programs and our quality initiatives and improvements. I would recommend the PDSA cycle. It's 
important and to other services, I recommend it by looking at what we have done and it's worked. Those things we've implemented, whether it be about weight competitions or diabetes and foot checks, we've given education, I think that's priority. And being able to look at the learning styles of our clients. Whatever the learning styles are, we've worked with those of each client and built it around their recovery care journey, their portfolios, and that's made the difference.